wow, it actually works. What's up guys? Welcome back to Van Life Mama. So, I was going to record the video today about uh, me putting the bunk bed together and setting it up in the van, but as you can see, we have a little bit of a snow going on here. We're actually in a snow squall warning, so it'll have to wait for another day. <laughs> before Thursday for me to set this up for you. But right now I'm heading to the hairdresser to get my roots touched up. And I'll see you guys probably, hopefully tomorrow, if the snow will stop. This is what happens in Northern Ontario when it gets too cold, your doors get frozen shut. <laughs> That's not opening. Gotta love winters in Ontario. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, back from the hairdresser. She did an awesome job like always. No more dark roots. It's still snowing like crazy out, so I'm gonna have to show you guys the bunk bed tomorrow. Okay guys, so I'm gonna try putting this bunk bed together here in the van. I was going to do it yesterday, but got a little bit distracted because my son bought his first vehicle yesterday, which is pretty good at 16, but we had a bunch of running around to do yesterday for uh, him getting his truck and I just didn't have time. So today it's a chilly day out, but I'm still gonna get this bunk bed put together and hopefully see if this is gonna work in the van for the road trip next week. So let's try putting it together. <laughs> I think the hardest part of that was going to be getting these things out of the box. So it comes in two separate bags because I believe they're actually two cots that can be combined together to make the bunk bed. And then they can also be converted into like a cot couch or whatever. I wouldn't be using it for that. But let's see how difficult it is to put these things together. So I discovered the trip for getting the cot on the frame a lot easier and I wish I had figured it out on the first one. But if you keep the cot, instead of having it rolled all the way out and straight, if you keep the cot folded in sections, it slides on a lot easier. And then as you go through each section, you unfold it and keep on going. And it gives you enough slack to pull the cot up. So if you're putting together one of these cots, keep the cot folded as you're sliding it onto the frame. So both cots are assembled. So now, now let's put them together and make the bunk bed. I have the bunk beds assembled. They're in the van. They fit height wise. It might be a little tight for my oldest son because he'll probably be sleeping on the top bunk. But now the moment of truth is, can I get seats up with the bunk beds in here? So let's see. Wow, it actually works. <laughs> you know, you have a vision in your head and you don't know if it's going to work out or not, and it does work out. I can't believe that the bunk bed fit in there with both of these seats up, and I was still able to close the tailgate. The tailgate's closed, and there's the bunk bed. And look at all the storage we'll still have underneath. And then when we're driving, um, we can put storage on the 
on that cot and just move them when we're parked. I did have to move the front seat up um, a little bit. I did sit in it to make sure that it was still comfortable for me to drive. I don't know if my husband's going to be able to drive though. Like, okay, so I can still drive. I'm in the, I'm in the passenger seat. I don't think my husband's going to be able to drive because he's six feet and he has super long legs. We have to have it this far forward and able to close the tailgate, which is okay. I'm used to doing a lot of the, all the driving on road trips when I go with my son because their father's never with me. So I don't mind doing all the driving. He doesn't like driving in uh, on freeways and highways in big cities anyways. So if I have to do all the driving, I have to do all the driving. That's fine. But now I'm going to get the boys out here to see... Well, I know Corbin will fit on the bottom bunk because there's tons of room, but more importantly, I want to see if Austin will sit fit on the top bunk. So let's see. Well, they're in the bunk beds and they're already starting to annoy each other in the bunk beds. So I think it works. Oh, I wanted to show you guys what I found on Facebook Marketplace. And it fits perfectly in the hole behind the third row seat. So this is what I got. Somebody was selling this uh, 12 volt cooler, powered cooler for, uh, I don't know how to open it. How do I open it? There we go. For $30. So $30 Moby Cool. Uh, powered cooler. He said you cannot is can either heat or keep cool. I'm not gonna use the heat. I'm just gonna keep use the uh, cool function. And all the campgrounds that we're staying at on the way down in the trip are going to have power. So I'm going to bring my Jackery with me. And if the whole Jackery's sole job is going to be to power this cooler, and that's it. Well, that was my experiment of can you put bunk beds in a minivan? And the answer is yes, you can with the seats up and still be able to have four people sitting in a minivan while you're traveling. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how the minivan is packed <laughs> for the trip. So we'll see how that goes. But otherwise, I think this was a win. So stay tuned for our adventures. We leave next week for the big trip. Otherwise, if you like the videos, please subscribe. I'm really trying to get to 500 subscribers because I want the community tab on YouTube because I love talking with you guys. So if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, I would appreciate it. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you during our next adventure next week. Bye guys. Dream, journey, adventure.